front of here. Today we're going to show you how to replace the door handle on a 2014 Nissan Altima. If you watched the video where we was in um, Pigeon Forge a few weeks ago, um, you know it was raining a lot up there. Door handle broke while we was up there. You can see the back here. See that piece right there? That's where it's broke. Back of that silver piece. Um, I look like an idiot up there every time I tried to get out of my car. It was pouring down rain and I had to close, roll the window down, reach outside and open the door. Or either my wife would have to come around and open the door for me. So today we're going to show you how to fix this. It's a quick, easy fix. It takes less than probably 30 minutes to change this out. I already got the door handle out. So I'm going to show you uh, how to take the door panel off and uh, and I'll show you a, a few other little tricks here. So let's get to it. It was like $16, uh, it was $15 and some change and uh, free shipping. Got here pretty quick. This trip right here to the dealership probably would have cost me $100, $150 at least, if not more. So do this, save yourself some money and... Uh, it's, like I said, it's easy if this has happened to you. This is where the door handle goes. It actually bolts on the back side of the skin here. Um, there is one screw that you do have to take out here. You have to remove this little piece right here. I will show you that at the very end of the video once I get it all back together. You just take a little screwdriver, pop this piece out, and there will be a screw in there. And if you look on here, you see that hole right there that hole just lines up inside there that's how that goes so our first step to uh to removing the door skin is to take this piece right here off a screwdriver in the edge there and pull pull back and this piece will come right off and if you look there's a bolt right there and then we also have to take this piece off and this will just pop right up like so I'm going to leave all my electronics connected and just leave them hanging because I can get to it with it dangling. And you can see there's a there's a bolt right there too. These are probably 10 millimeter uh, hex head bolts, but if you look, they also have a Phillips head inside. That's what I'm using today. Oh, that bolt right there out and this bolt right here out. You're going to reach around the edge of your skin here. Find a little crease somewhere in it and just pull it. And just keep running your hand around, just do it kind of easy. All the way around each side and it'll be loose. Now it'll be hanging by this top portion right here. And all you have to do is just lift it up like so. And you got the whole skin in your hand. Now we're going to connect our two lines to our new piece. This one right here is your door lock. This is the actual one that hooks to the door handle. Position with the handle facing down. You're going to take the little ball there and drop it right in that groove once you're done. The ball is inside there and this little plastic piece is back in its groove. Now we'd, we'll do the lock. Make sure that, they're, that they'll lock and unlock. We're good there. So now we're going to put our three screws back in, which you did not see before. They're just screw here, screw there, and a screw there. And they go on the inside of the plate there. There is also, once it slides back in, there's a few snaps. If you see right there, there's a little snap. This is a picture of it reinstalled. Now what we're going to do, you see this edge right here? It'll hang on the edge of the window. So we're going to put everything back together now. Make sure that your, your weatherproofing and all that has not come undone. Hang back on. You want to, to look up under your edge here. Line your holes up. Pop those back in. Reinstall your three bolts. 
your three bolts here, here, and here. Bolts back in. Now we're going to put in our our um, electronics here, and they just snap back down. Now you put on your outer trim piece. Is to put this trim piece in here. It goes back in here and it covers up that bolt. Pretty much it. Let's see if it works. And it does. Lock. Unlock. Quick, easy video. The amount of time that it took for this video to run is pretty much the time that it took me to install this. I'd say really less than probably 10 15 minutes. So uh, give this a try, guys, if, uh, if you have this happening. If you have this model car, you have this happen to it, it's some good advice on how to uh, fix it. And uh, we'll see you next time.